she flows into the room All the foes howl at the moon And soon their woes would soon resume Oh boy, they did not see her broom They were headed for a shot Oh, she left it in the parking lot Dismissed the qualified energy one of the reasons I am so excited about music in the 21st century is because in the age of information, everybody was hoarding information. And the one with the most information would sell you a little piece of it. Like uh, <laughs> even the gurus were accused of selling you part of the knowledge, part of the enlightenment on installment payments. Um, I have an app on Reverb Nation. And the app is uh, Reverb Nation um, forward slash ReverbNation.com, I'm sorry, forward slash Reverend William D. Burton forward slash app, A-P-P. Uh, on a daily basis, I'm going to be giving you information about how and why a 71-year-old person can not only look the way I do and feel the way I do, you know, I mean, let's talk, let's be frank. Most of the 71-year-old men you know are cranky and tired and irritable and pissed off, you know? And, and, and oh, and I, I do want to say, people keep asking me on my Facebook page, yes, these are my teeth. <laughs> but uh, I digress. I have found out that attitude is the most powerful thing that you can have to move forward. And I'm not talking about a negative attitude. I'm talking about a positive attitude. So when you go to my app on a daily basis, you're gonna see a blog, or you're gonna see uh, something from my Twitter account, or you're gonna see something from uh, uh, my, my website that is going to inspire you about how to tap your full brain, mind, and potential. And I'm not just gonna be talking garbage. I'm gonna be in, intending to show you that your subconscious mind is one million times more powerful than your conscious mind. And if you use, the average person I should say uses about two to five percent of their brain mind potential. We were placed here to be a hundred percent and to tap a hundred percent of our potential. And I'm on my way to doing that and I want you to go along with me. I was trained by Jack Canfield. Chicken Soup for the Soul, uh, part uh, writer of The Secret. I'm going to share some things um, that aren't in The Secret. I'm going to teach you how your internal dialogue, the conversation that you are having with yourself, is more powerful than any conversation that you can read outside of your body or hear coming in through your ears. The conversation that you are having with yourself on a daily basis and the way you feel about that conversation will empower your subconscious mind, which is one million times more powerful than your conscious mind, to help you accomplish your dreams. You have the power to accomplish your dreams. And, and when you tap that inner voice, you will start to do, um, you'll hear messages coming out. And let me give you some of my messages. When jogging replaces your sex life and you're grogged in the space of your ex-wife and you're dodging embraces of your next wife who's saving your space for the next life and then your love affair becomes the lesson that you should have learned the last time around. Afraid you stare at Fred or stare lessons because all the good dancers are leaving town. You know, he put the fake on, she put the break on. Make no mistake, son. Who's got the make on? She's like a mother of Atlantis. Hey, now, boy, is she boss? Like some lady praying mantis. Don't bow. She'll take your head off because my topic's apathy. My topic's apathy. Myopic apathy. For instance, I wrote a, a thing called, now I'm reminding you that I sweep my brain of free radicals on a daily basis. Now, you got to learn how to sweep the free radicals from your brain on a daily basis. And I do that with Pretandem. And I want you to go to WilliamDBurton.com. And, and I want you to do the science behind it. Don't just take my word for it. Go to WilliamDBurton.com. And then go to the Banned Substances Control Group, who control all of the 
intake of the nutrients for the International Olympic Committee. And, and I want you to see that this product, Protandum, a uh, biochemist uh, who graduated from Duke created this, and, and, and it sweeps free radicals from your brain. And you'll, you'll start to get messages from your inside, like a king intellect dethroned, standing there lying, won't leave me alone, trying to sell a higher standard of dying, but I ain't buying because it's life defying. Teachers, preachers, car salesmen, scientists, all of them teachers, they're promising perfect bliss. I ain't denying that they've been trying, but come on in, I'm glad that you came. You've got the answer to everything. I was just sitting here chanting your name and I was waiting for the flight school bell to ring because I'm going to learn how to fly. I'm going to learn how to fly. I'm going to learn how to fly this earth plane. Uh, you know, and, and, and I want you to know that all of this stuff uh, is coming from within me and you have as much, if not more, within yourself. You see, I bought a guitar when I was 30. My friends told me that I was too old to learn how to play. You know, a year later I performed at a private party for Cat Stevens when he was probably between 23 and 25 years old. And he told me that um, I really had something to say with my songwriting ability. Now, one of his favorite songs was a song that I wrote called Reese the Priest. And here's what I say about writing songs. You want to write a song so strong that the words can stand alone. Now, let me see that again. Write your songs so strong that the words can stand, stand alone. So, this is called Reese the Priest. About a friend of mine who was a priest, he decided that he wanted to open up a group home for teenagers called Harry's Mother in Portland, Oregon. And it goes like this. My friend Reese was a priest until he kicked the habit. He found God out in the street, not only in the abbey. Some folks thought him crazy, others thought him quite odd. He said a man don't need religion just as long as he's got God. My friend Reese, he fought for peace, but not at the expense of others. He confronted the police and said that Mary was everybody's mother. Consciousness refined, he was peaceful and sublime. Brother Reese, he was a friend of mine. You know, that's uh, part of my friend Reese was a priest until he kicked the habit. And, and I do songs that, that tell stories about life. I call it uh, nursery rhymes for your subconscious mind. And sometimes I call it songs and witty stories. You know, but I've, I've written just a lot of stuff. I, I go to poetry situations. I don't like to compete in poetry slams, but I go sometime and I see youngsters with pieces of paper in their hand trying to remember their poetry, you know, and I, I'm going, um, you know, I just get up and I, and I just let it flow from within and you can learn how to do that. And I want to, and I will teach you as you learn how to tap your full brain mind potential. Let me tell you this. You paid a hundred thousand dollars or more for that college education you have, you know? So when you tap your full brain mind potential, you will start to get more of that education that is actually submerged inside of you. Because you know, while you were in class half asleep, do you know your subconscious mind never missed one word that your professor said? And this is important. While you were in class half asleep, your subconscious mind never missed one word. So you have a university within you that is recorded and it's just sitting there waiting for you to push the right button to play replay on your genius. So um, maybe I should do another piece of poetry for you. I was born in Los Angeles in 1944, January 4th, 1944. And so everybody seems to want to be famous in Los Angeles. So I wrote a, I wrote a song called Lady Fame. It says, she, she runs through men like a saber. She leaves them lying and crying just to savor her favors. She crucifies all of her saviors, but ain't that the way the story goes? I thought Lady Fame was a bare-skinned rug, but she came alive and she gave me a hug. I thought I was as snug as a bug in a rug, but she said she didn't want to be bugged. You know, I followed Lady Fame down to her den. I stepped inside, but she wasn't in. Up stepped ten men, introduced as her friends. Ex-husbands all has been. That was Lady Fame. She's my latest flame. 
And I do declare that it ain't fair that your wide-eyed stare is an intrusion into the dressing room of my unrehearsed conclusions. You said stop and shop, you'll find a parking spot in the parking lot of the supermarket of my heart with your name in a frame. If you concede your greed, you find that you've been freed from everything, all the heavy things that you thought you'd need. You see, she runs through men like a saber. She leaves them lying and crying just to save her favors. She crucifies all of her saviors. But that's the way the story goes. Maybe I should do um, a piece of poetry about right. Venus in me. When she flows into the room, all the bows howl at the moon. Soon their woes would soon resume, for they did not see the room. They were headed for a shot, and she laughed with the ballet in the parking lot. Misqualified energy. And that's why they call her Venus Envy. She was well-bred, she was corn-fed. There was a rumor going around, the girl had brains in her head. She was cruising on a brand new groom, and she was grooving on a brand new tune, and she was riding around in her 1999 convertible groom, and she was looking for a convertible groom. She was incredible, she was hot. A groom was convertible, but she was not. She was incredible, she was hot. A broom was convertible, and she was not. When she flows into the room, all the bows howl at the moon. Soon their woes would soon resume, or they did not see her broom, and they called her Venus Envy. I am out here by the lake to invite you to ReverbNation.com forward slash Reverend William D. Burton slash app. I want you to tune into my motivational app because at 71, I went from who the heck was that <laughs> to number two in the Research Triangle Park. Uh, and, you know, we're planning to be number one, so number two is just, a, you know, a pit stop for us. But I want to share with you on my Reverb Nation app on a daily basis the kind of uh, rituals that I go through in reference to using positive affirmations using powerful visualizations, using powerful meditations to um, help reprogram my subconscious mind uh, for the 21st century. Now, we have moved from the age of information, we have now slipped into the age of inspiration and transformation. I like to tell the story about the little uh, elephant at the, at the circus. You've seen the little elephant at the circus tied by a log and it's sitting there rocking back and forth and the little elephant can't move uh, because this log is holding him down. Now you see an elephant ten times that large or a thousand times that large who weighs tons and if you'll notice closely that same little log is holding this big giant elephant. And this is how I explain people about the age of information and the age of inspiration. In the age of inspiration, you're much more powerful than you were in the age of information. In the age of inspiration and transformation, you're much more powerful. Your subconscious mind is the adult elephant who can move any log. But you know what? That little baby elephant is inside of that big elephant. Just like your inner child remembers when you were powerless and adults had control of you. And most people live like they're still that little child at six years old. Although they've grown up full grown, they are still being controlled by the little timid child within them. Now I'm going to teach you how to transform that little child who is one million times more powerful than your conscious mind. And as you go through this transformation, I want you to transform not into a powerful being that just goes around pushing people around because you have the power. I want you to transform yourself into a being of light. I want you to transform yourself into a being of enlightenment. I want you to transform yourself into someone who goes around blessing people as opposed to cursing people. And I firmly believe that in this 21st century, we can embrace. All races can embrace and we can empower ourselves. 
So I want you to go to my app, ReverbNation.com uh, forward slash Reverend. I'm sorry, the Reverend is R-E-V. Don't spell out the whole word Reverend. Rev William D. Burton uh, forward slash app, A-P-P. -P. Uh, please read uh, my, um, my blogs. Friend me at Reverend William D. B U R T. That is my tag on Twitter. And um, go to my website, WilliamDBurton.com. And you can look up at the top of the page and you can click on my music, which will take you straight to my, my, my music app and my Reverb Nation page. Or you can click on anything else on my site and look to the side and you will see the fountain of youth. I always say the truth is the fountain of youth. And I believe that people can live to be 150 years strong. And I would like to collect other people on my app who believe that if the Old Testament has any truth in it and people live to be 800 years old, then surely we can claim 150 years or so. So let's start thinking about that. Because, you know, I discovered that, you know, different parts of your body duplicate themselves within three months to six months you rebuild your whole bone structure your dna even replaces itself so why do you age if your dna is replacing itself every few weeks we age because of our attitude we aid be age because our attitude is not gratitude you know scientists have already proven that time is an illusion i repeat scientists have proven that time is an illusion so why labor under the illusion uh, that time has to have some effect upon you? Time does not have to have any effect upon you. And those who uh, are listening to their 2% are going to call me a lie. And those who are aspiring to the 100% of their God-given creative talents are going to know that when the master teacher, uh, Yeshua ben Joseph, said, all things are possible to them that believe, he was telling the truth. Free yourself. Free yourself. Be yourself. You can see yourself. Fought by little boys Swinging trains of thought In the empty boxcars Of my train of thought My third eye Was on the blink But I think I think I saw it wink Expressions would settle like a brace we did a dash for the cash With a scream on the racist faces But the brother we left lying there Mashed on the track Mashed on the track And someone said a small ego is bad Shock. There was something wrong with Gloria's lock. When I, I, I came home, I got a shock. It was the same old key, but a brand new lock. Gloria's got new religion. Ooh, made some new decisions in a life, in her life, in her life. And Gloria's got new religion. Ooh, Made some new decision.